All right, guys. Pretty sure I'm live now. There's my desktop, obviously. All right, how's the audio? All right, we sounding good. All right, good deal. Uh, the game on my desktop is uh, League of Legends, and the character's name is Vagar. All right, cool. Um, I tested this briefly last night, and... Uh, on my wife's laptop, it sounded and looked good, so hopefully I don't have any problems. Okay. Let me go ahead and get this started. Come on, mouse. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Alright, so like I said uh, in the video on YouTube, I already have a game kind of a ways into it, and I'm doing this test run, and I, I'm not, I'm definitely not a pro at this game. I'm much better at XCOM and even the uh, UFO games uh, than this one, so, you know, bear with me if I screw up or anything like that, but uh, really I'm just going through this test run. Uh, trying to get ready for a let's play on this and figured you know I'd like to get into streaming and you know why not show you guys a little bit yeah the XCOM games I think are better than this game but this one uh, on its own is a pretty good game Yeah, I saw, um, it's, uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown, and it looks kick butt. Alright, um, real quick, I'll show you, uh, this came in this version of the game. You can, uh, change some settings here. It has some built-in mods and stuff. I left it all alone, so... I'm just playing with default settings, I believe. Yeah, the research tree for this game is pretty in-depth, and the descriptions in it are huge. But, uh, yeah, here you got some different options you can enable, adjust, stuff like that. Uh, it, you can even adjust inventory costs. AP is basically time units. I think it's called action points in this game. So yeah, I've pretty much left everything the same. Um, and this is on easy mode. Uh, let me make a quick adjustment real quick, guys. Gotta minimize this thing, it's messing with my X split. There we go. Okay. And I 
uh, the game auto saves once you get into a mission, so this is where I left off earlier. Uh, yeah, I do have some force fields on. They're personal shields. I'll go ahead and show you the inventory real quick of this guy. So, uh, pretty similar to the XCOM games. Uh, one big difference, and I'll point it out now, is while the rifle seems to be a two-handed weapon, you can actually hold another item in your other hand, and it won't affect your accuracy with the original weapon, so that's pretty neat. Uh, that might be in uh, one of the settings, I don't recall, but it, it was set to that as default, so. Uh, let's see what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Talking about ROMs, huh? Uh, as you'll notice, uh, shooting's pretty high. Uh, most of my units have uh, maxed out shooting. This guy's new. Uh, this is only like his second or third mission. Same with this guy. I, I had a base defense or a, a base mission I went to, and all my guys were wounded, so I had to buy some more. But, yep. Got some personal shields here. They only withstand six damage, which is not much. But I went ahead and built them up anyway. And med kit's kind of different in this game. Uh, you have 70 damage points you can heal. And you heal in increments of five, I believe. And critical wounds uh, take up five points. So you got to be careful there. Uh, and rush for laser rifles is what I recommend. Uh-oh, hold on a sec. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, tear from the deep. Oh. I... I... I'm glad not to be playing that game much anymore. <laughs> Okay. Oh, as you can see here, it's kind of a neat little map you have. Uh, we're starting off in the corner, as you can see. Uh, and it, it slowly updates as you walk out. It's kind of neat. Uh, I think you only have two levels to play with. You just scroll the mouse wheel to switch between them. It was kind of confusing when I first played. I couldn't figure out how to go up and down. Had aliens shooting at me from the second floor, and I couldn't see them. So usually what I do, I just kind of fan out. Uh, you can reserve time units or AP if you want. Uh, I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, one of the things that kind of annoys me is, you see how I moved here? But the line was like way out here. I don't know. I don't know if they're just making it more visible to your eyes or what. I don't know. But like that, it's like way out there and... It's not where I'm going. Okay. So I'm going to stop here uh, with my units for now. Leave some time units for shooting. In this game, you can use uh, auto shots for reaction fire. Uh, Unimod fixes that. Alright, so this guy got hit. He has two critical wounds. Which are basically just like fatal wounds in the XCOM series. Uh, so you took a fair amount of chemical damage. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to have uh, Owl heal him up. So you just walk within one square. Alright, you see the critical wounds. We want to get that first. And, uh, okay, so it only took four. And then all you do is you just... Keep clicking. So this med kit has only 8 HP left that it can heal somebody. But this person's fully healed now. And uh, it, it only takes a certain amount of time units, 8 time units, to uh, get into uh, the healing ability. And once you do that, you don't use any more time units. So I thought that was a really nice uh, change in this game. <clears throat> so yeah, 
Uh, this guy's new, so I'm going to have him uh, shoot at this alien first because uh, you get experience for killing and wounding. So, like, in the XCOM games, if you run around, you know, you build up your energy, you build up your time units, stuff like that. But in this game, you can only build up your attributes through experience. So, you got to shoot the wound. So, let's get out of that. Okay. Now let me scoot back there. Oh yeah, another thing too is kind of weird when you select your soldier and then you gotta kind of like move pretty far away before you can start selecting where you can move. Yeah, just weird scrolling stuff when trying to select your, your soldiers. It's kind of weird. You get used to it though. Okay. And generally what I do is I kind of look down here and look at these green bars to see how many AP everybody has left. And I know this guy still looks kind of full, so I'm going to move him a little bit. Oh, and uh, when you... It calculates how many time or AP you're going to use when you move. You see the 27 there? You know, it take 30 to move there. So that's kind of nice too. Alright, so I'm seeing these guys. Uh, yeah. Um, I still have the tank. Uh, I just... It got damaged, so I don't think I'm able to use it for now. Soho, you're not getting any audio? Well, uh, <laughs> Obviously. Okay. <laughs> I was, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Alright, so here we spot two aliens, but this unit does not see them. Alright, it, it'd be, it'd light up red if they could see them. Oh, so that guy's up in the air. So click on someone. Yeah, that guy can see both of them. Oh yeah, that uh, eerie music. I'll give this game credit for that too. Let's do some auto shots. Alright. And then let's have him shoot at this guy. Uh, you can kneel down too. Uh, I don't know, for some reason this game I just, I tend not to do that so much. I do it every once in a while. Alright, let me see, let's grab this guy. Okay, let me, let me move some people first. I actually uh, tried this mission earlier, and I had one person shoot another guy twice in the back with an auto round. I wasn't too happy about that. Oh! And another thing, this game actually uh, takes into consideration range. So the farther away that your target is, the less accurate you'll be. So you can see this guy has pretty bad accuracy from that range. So why don't we uh, scoot up just a little bit. Okay. So yeah, not much of an increase, but better than nothing. Hey. That 18% shot wasn't too bad. Okay. So he's done now. I think that... I think that was the guy that was wounded, too. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful with misclicks. I've had a few where I either shot the ground or 
ran all the way back to where I used to be. Alright, see another guy there. One thing I recommend in this game, uh... <laughs> yeah, hard to call it music. Yeah. Well, we'll call it background noise. Uh, one thing I recommend in this game is uh, max out shooting as soon as possible since all experience is based on being able to shoot. Uh, throwing accuracy is something you could do too, but yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about that. The range is not very good. Very nice. Yeah, chrysalids. Ah, uh, hit point wonders there. All right, we're gonna kind of swing over this way. See if anyone's hiding. Uh, this, I believe, was a smaller UFO, so there shouldn't be too many more aliens. Yeah, I'm just kind of covering a lot of ground now. Chances are they're going to be in the UFO, wherever that's at. Let's see. And, uh, you know, whenever you guys want to cut out or whatever, that's fine. Uh, I'll try to... I tried putting these videos on YouTube before... Uh, a few months ago and I had a little bit of difficulty but I'll try it again and uh, worst comes to worst the videos will be on Twitch alright so that guy only took 10 points of damage which is really good and decided to kill <laughs> overhitting something in the UFO Alright, there's another guy. Let's see, we want one of our new guys to shoot at him. And they're both very far away. <laughs> Not bad there. Not bad. Let's try that again. There you go. And that actually might have been the last one. I guess we'll find out. Alright, there's the UFO. It's uh, blown open right here. Here's the doorway. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jack. I appreciate it, man. Uh, no problem, Defosh. I appreciate you showing up. Yeah, really for me, this is the best time for me to stream because uh, the kids are all in bed and the wife's out to a movie with a friend and, hey, we're done with the mission. Um, so, I mean, it's the easiest for me to do at this point. I mean, some days uh, I'll be able to stream in the middle of the day or whatever if, you know, the kids are at my parents or whatever. Uh, real quick, this is the mission results screen. If someone gets a promotion, they get five ability points to allocate somewhere. Uh, this guy, uh, Clifton, did get a kill but didn't get a promotion. And if anyone shows up over here as a wounded soldier, uh, it shows who they were wounded by and uh, they'll have to spend time in the hospital. Then down here, the items you got, you actually get bounty money as well. So I'll be getting seventy thousand dollars for finishing that mission. <laughs> All right. So four people uh, 
have five points to use. Shooting's maxed out. Uh, strength uh, isn't something you need to do right away, but you'll want to do it soon because uh, if if you don't have enough strength to carry everything, you lose uh, your ability points. So you don't want to outweigh yourself. And once I got my personal shields, I kind of ran into that problem on accident. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. This person definitely needs more strength. Let's see. Vitality, that's your health. Agility, your AP. Uh, and the rest of this is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, this number in parentheses, uh, that's basically the weight you can carry. So, max that puppy out. Alright. And if you try to hit OK before allocating any of those points, it'll warn you and tell you, hey, you gotta do this first. Alright, so here's the Geoscape. You know, kind of similar to the XCOM games. And, uh... Yeah, as you can tell, this isn't Earth. And uh, I don't know the whole plot of the game, and I don't want to spoil anything for you, but yes, we are humans, and no, this is not Earth. Uh, let's see, this is where I started the game. If I recall correctly, I believe... I think you can select where you want to start, and I just picked this because there's a large land mass here. But basically, these are all your countries. Uh, here's the second base I built. Uh, yes, I'm negative. That's because I'm heavily researching and producing stuff right now. Uh, basically, uh, we'll go to the base. Here's my original base. Uh, I, I built a lot of stuff, I think. Let's see. You start out with these three hangars. And I believe you start out with everything up here. And I think that's it. Maybe this alien containment, but I don't recall. So basically everything... Oh. Where's... Okay, this detection system, you start with that. But pretty much everything else down here I built. Oh, okay, that that's cool. Uh, let's see. On the second base... Uh, this is what I've got going. The power plant and the hangar. Uh, that you start out with these two, and then I've built these two so far. <laughs> yeah, Jack, that's... That's about how it goes. Especially if it's an ethereal or something. Uh, I, I don't I don't know why I can't build more than these buildings. Uh, maybe one of you guys might know, or maybe I'll figure it out soon enough, but uh, basically this is all you can do in your other bases. I don't know if you're supposed to have all your soldiers in the first one and defenses in the rest. I don't know. I, I haven't gotten that far, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Researching. Got 60 scientists going. Checking out the chemo gun, chemo gun, whatever you want to call it. Uh, production is pretty cool. It's paused right now because I'm out of money. But it's the end of the month. I'll get some more. Uh, here's all the stuff I can build right now. Yeah, pretty neat stuff. I'll be building some of these pretty soon. So I'll just put that up and build a few. Ah, so, yeah, the main main base is research and that stuff. That's good to know. And, uh, well, these people are on a mission, of course, but uh, this person's healing up in the hospital. Uh, let's see. And just other equipment here as well. The, the game automatically reloads all your soldiers, so that's pretty nice, as long as you have the equipment for it. And as you can see here, this person's weight is maxed out, 
66 out of 66, so I actually had to drop a grenade in order to get just this one laser shield. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop out of here. Okay. Alright, so still pretty good balance. My expenses are pretty high, but... Oh, wow. That's not good. I had a pretty large group of UFOs come through last month. Ah, cool. Glad the stream quality is pretty good. Now, this game isn't too uh, resource intensive, so... Uh, my computer's able to stream it pretty well. Like when I tried to do City of Heroes and I think even Diablo 2, uh, it was it w it either wouldn't look good or it couldn't stream well. Uh, let's see. Let me check out production again real quick. All right. Phew. Advanced med kits are very very hard to make. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to stop that for now. I want to try to knock these out. Uh, there is a, uh, oh, what's the term? Like, um, like it, technically it'd be more efficient for me to have some of my technicians over here. Uh, I, it just, it, it escapes me what the term is. But, the binding of Isaac. No, I haven't heard of that. What's that about? Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I researched this uh, last time I played. Pretty good damage. <laughs> Crazy game, huh? I'm just kind of reading this real quick. Cool. This is kind of almost like a flamethrower. Huh. Interesting. I'll give you guys another minute to go ahead and read this. I'll see what you guys are typing out. Wow, that sounds like a weird game. Uh, like, what kind of a game is it? Is it like a... Like a platformer? Like a 3D platformer? I guess we'll start with that. Oh well, yeah, up here it shows you uh, certain events that occur. Like the, the gun was researched. Uh, it'll show you production items built. Oh, okay. Alright, I've seen other games similar to that that are pretty crazy. Okay, we'll get back started with this one. I can't remember the name of the game, but I remember watching someone play it and beat it, and it's supposed to be impossible to beat. Some, uh, it was like a Japanese game, I think. Now, let's see. Go ahead and, um, equip our craft. Gonna change out these missiles with the fire hammers. Now one interesting thing about this game is you don't need to buy ammunition for your craft. You just need to buy uh, like the gun or the launcher or whatever. And I think that's pretty cool. Now they have to re they, ha they have to have time to reload but you don't have to worry about ammo which is pretty nice. Alright I'm transferring 
my uh, fire launcher over to my other base so that craft can have it. Okay. Hey, X Mental, how you doing? Okay, advanced rocket defense. We can research that now. Here's this thing. Oh, that's pretty good damage. Cool. 75 armor. Here's the original tank you start the game with. Uh, less armor, quite a bit less damage with the rocket. Although the nice thing is you have a projectile gun with that tank. Actually, the the accuracy is a little bit lower, but still pretty good. Okay, go ahead and do advanced rocket defense. And um, uh, another weird thing about this game is when you build a workshop or a laboratory, each one comes with 10 either uh, scientists or uh, engineers. You can't just buy your guy separately. So you have to actually build the buildings in order to get more. Oh, yeah. I, I have problems getting chat to load on Twitch as well sometimes. It sometimes takes a while. Uh, the cool thing, though, is the advanced laboratory gives you 30, so it's a pretty good investment to get that. And, uh, after I built it, I realized I didn't build these efficiently enough, because I should have built two laboratories next to each other and gotten this thing built and then taken those two out and built another advanced workshop. Yeah, Jack, you would think so. I mean, it's... They couldn't handle it themselves to begin with. Okay, that research was done pretty quick. Not bad. Now let's see what this says. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I heard... I've seen Xenonauts. That looks pretty cool. But and I think that's been delayed for, what, two or three or four years? But yeah, XCOM fans should have a, a pretty good year this year. Uh, what planet is this set on? Uh, I, I'll, I'll look that up real quick. Let me just take a look at these numbers. Let's see. Huh, okay. <clears throat> I actually have a copy of Command & Conquer the first decade. I just, I got burnt out playing it years ago though, so I, I don't play it anymore. I don't think I'm going to get any information on what planet this is. I don't know, I just, I jumped in and started playing it again. Yeah, I don't think I can get any information. Oh, I don't need Windows Media Player. Yeah, because X splits, um, I, because I have the free version, um, I gotta play this game in windowed mode, and that kind of stinks. If I go too low, I get my taskbar popping up. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just close it.
Okay. Alright, I think, uh, let's go ahead and produce some heavy lasers. And we're gonna go ahead and sell those. Start it. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna build the cell now. Oh, that name, uh, does sound pretty familiar. Yeah, Esperanza. Hey, Jeremy, what's going on? Looks a bit blotchy and green. Hmm. Anyone else having a... Anyone else seeing stuff in the video? Is it looking weird? Um, oh, try, look at your uh, video setting on the stream. If it's really low, it, it'll look pretty bad. Maybe uh, bump it up. I think I have, like, three options on there. The, the bigger the number, the better it'll look. Maybe if you tried that. Like, 480 is usually what I go with on uh, my wife's laptop, because that's about all it could handle, but... Uh, on my computer, I go 720 or higher. It looks pretty good. Okay, here we have the mine shield. Yeah, there's psionics pretty early in this game, although they're not too serious right away. It's just kind of you know, making you panic and stuff. Might have to build some of these. Wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I've I've seen uh, like people with high quality uh, computers and high stream settings still get blurry and stuff when things move. All right, UFO detected. Oh, right by us too. Alright, so, gonna have these two guys go after it. <laughs> and we blew it up over the water. They're starting to use a new weapon, though, and it's doing a lot of damage. Alright, we'll be able to research Flamethrower next. Uh, let's, oh. Yeah, see what I mean? They have so much, so many uh, descriptions for this game. It's so long. Nice. Um, oh, I was thinking of a different weapon. Never mind. Oh, what I was going to say is, like, the chemo gun. Uh, let's see, where's that? Uh, if you guys didn't finish reading, there you go. Uh, the chemo gun, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it has a really short range, so I'm not really into building that just yet, because my uh, laser rifles are doing pretty well. And I tend to use more soldiers than tanks, so I get a lot more shots. And when you max out your shooting accuracy, you know, it, it helps to be able to shoot from further dif uh, distances. Okay. Let's check out the flamethrower. Oh, there we go.
Okay, let's go ahead and sell some of those heavy lasers. Okay, so one heavy laser. Oh, yeah, uh, where I'm get, losing my money is uh, researching. Researching actually costs money as you do it, too. And here, they have a nice little button here where uh, if you have researched artifacts, it'll automatically sell it for you if you don't want them. So these four items right here, I'm not using them, so I can just click this and sell them, get a little extra cash. Um, yeah, I might have to get rid of one of my laboratories because that research is really eating away at my money. Oh, whoa. Base. Okay, let's, uh... Cancel production. We'll stop that for now. Yeah, I'm definitely hurting on money. We're gonna have to pause uh, research as well. Okay. All right, laser defense at my other base is uh, done. And I'm not going to do any more of there for now. Yeah, selling artifacts button. That's a pretty nice uh, feature. Alright, so that's kind of right in the middle of both bases. So why don't I just send off three of them after it. Uh, now, different UFOs are different colors. And I forgot to check out what each color meant. Like there's purple, there's gray, there's red. Let's pause it. Oh, uh, uh, what's leeching all my money is uh, the research and uh, having all those scientists. Alright, so we're going to have to knock out some missions here. I'm going to wait for daytime. But yeah, doing some missions will help get some money in. Well, let's see. Go ahead and have the new guys remain on board. Or at least one new guy. There we go. Now that these guys can carry a little bit more. Alright, I'm going to launch that mission. And I'll go ahead and save it. Yeah, there's my original game up here. But I spent so many months not playing the game that I totally forgot everything about it and felt like just starting over again. Okay. Where are we at? Okay, we're in the top right corner. Oh, nice. Only three mechanical damage. That's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, we want this guy to shoot as well. Good job, Carson. Uh, if you do damage on an alien, you'll get one experience point. So it's actually...
kind of a, a good thing if you don't one shot them because if you do an auto shot you can get a lot more experience on your guys because a, a kill is at least five depending on the alien type so whether you one shot them or two shot them uh, it doesn't matter you'll get five experience Let's see. Yeah, I guess we can come up here and look around. <laughs> Lobster men. Yeah, those those guys were not fun. And, and like they were even strong against sonic weapons if I recall correctly alright where's one of the new guys ninety percent I don't know what happened there let's try sixty one percent there we go. Okay, I think everybody's moved well enough. See, so yeah, in this game, uh, you do start out with like rifles and pistols just like in the first XCOM and you want to get out of those as soon as possible just like in the first XCOM you want to get to laser weapons pretty quick and it really doesn't take that long you only go through a few missions with rifles I believe uh, let's see yeah let's just have her kill Yeah, that sounds about right. Scouters and or scouts and fighters. Uh, now you are supposed to be able to like see differences between uh, like different alien ranks. Like a commander is supposed to be uh, like green or something like that, and and such. I don't think I've ran into any like that yet, but uh, you're supposed to be able to see that, and eventually you're supposed to capture them and interrogate them and stuff, but I'm not that far yet. I don't think. Yeah, I, I rarely use pistols in these games. I, I think the only time it was really cool to use a pistol, uh, well, outside of XCOM Apocalypse was um, uh, XCOM UFO Defense taking a laser pistol and mind controlling some mutons having them drop their guns and then like sticking them inside of a UFO and let them walk out and you just <laughs> you you build up your reactions really well doing that um, how do you interrogate an alien? Uh, you just, I think you just basically research them. You just have to keep them alive and have a, a building available for that. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering if that's what you meant. Uh, you could waterboard them, I suppose. Okay, so this guy's... Wow. Holy cow. This guy's almost dead. I'm going to have her move next to this guy. So that he doesn't have to waste time units moving to her. There we go. Let's see the red. Whew. 
Okay, so this, uh... <laughs> yeah, anything goes. This med kit's dry, so what I can do... So I can then switch to this thing, uh, which is, is a stim pack, and you start the game with those, and it can heal up to 35 damage uh, wounds, but it cannot do uh, critical wounds. You need to start doing uh, med kit research pretty quick if you want to get rid of critical wounds. And, uh, the difference between the, uh, the advanced med kit and the regular one is just the advanced med kit uh, can cure more points. Well, what if they're just ooze? Well, either toss some salt on them or give them some electricity that way too. All right, that's good for that turn. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Pretty sure the door is down this way, but I wanted to make sure there aren't any holes over here that I have to cover. So I've had some nasty surprises before. They come out through their their damaged hall and shoot me from the back or something. All right, where's the new guy? Okay, he already had his turn. He could take a snapshot, except he can't shoot through a UFO. All right, you're just gonna do it. Yeah, that'd be cool if you want to stream Isaac after this. Um, I was planning on going for maybe a couple of hours, so probably about one more hour or so I'll be streaming, and then uh, we can head over to your stream after that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that that delay on Xenonauts. I, I've hardly heard of the game. Like, I didn't hear about it for the first time until earlier this year or maybe late last year and then I read that it's been delayed for years and I'm like holy cow are you serious but then it's it's done um, by like a small company or something like that and I was like well I guess I can kind of see that nice touch hey quick minds using grenades all right yeah, in this game, because uh, they don't take the accuracy away from your rifle, I'll actually use grenades. Yeah, Xenonauts looks really good, though. Uh, it, it almost reminds me of Labor's, excuse me, Laser Squad Nemesis, if you guys are familiar with that. I had that a long time ago, but... Uh, just, I didn't play that very long either. <laughs> Gotta love the money. Alright, so, only one promotion there, but that's not bad. That's, uh, the new guy. And, uh, Mariah? Maybe? Maria? Uh, she got wounded. So I gained $70,000 for that, so a little bit better now. <laughs> Spamming proximity grenades, that's a pretty good way to go. Okay, let's see what kind of fuel we got. Oh, plenty. So let's go for this other one real quick. Where's that one? There, oh no. There we go.
All right, so she's wounded. So let's go ahead and bring... Okay, it doesn't really matter. We'll bring her. She's one of the lower ranks, so let's launch it. Okay. Nice. Let's just gun him down. Yeah, auto shots king in this game, just like in the first one. Or UFO defense, I mean. Because, like, even aim shots, they'll, they'll still survive it. And really, uh, the whole time I've been playing this test run of this game right here, I don't think I've reloaded my rifle yet. And that's including, I think, one base defense and two alien base missions. Yeah, two alien base missions. So, I mean, you bring enough soldiers, you can shoot enough, you don't have to worry about reloading too much. Alright, hey, I'm glad you guys are loving the stream. I kind of considered... Uh, kind of switching over to, to doing this for Let's Plays, and then when I'm done streaming, I'll send the video to YouTube or whatever, but kind of ran into some problems, and uh, it's just a lot of timing and stuff. I just decided to stick with just recording offline and sticking with that. Uh-oh. Let's see. Wow, left enough for reaction fire? He's like, well, I'm dead. Eventually. There you go. Okay. Ooh, headshot. Okay. Yeah, all that, and I still got 46 time units. Or AP. I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna call that AP and TUs are interchangeable. So that I don't have to keep correcting myself. <laughs> Death by firing squad. That's how I roll, guys. But if you actually, if you look... Uh, I could either have all I could have eight soldiers in here with me, or I could have four soldiers and a tank. And the real bummer about having a tank is the tank does not get experience for kills. So you're essentially stealing experience from other people who could use it. And that's why I frown on using tanks unless I absolutely have to, or if I need. Uh, some big guns, like another explosive, then I'll bring a tank in. <laughs> Took a bullet to the toe. Okay, let's go ahead and fan out some more. I'm not really using the reserve time units thing because I have a pretty good idea how far I can go before I run out of space. But it's it's not a bad feature to use either. Oh yeah. Couple of uh, plasma hover tanks. In Cydonia. I agree with that one.
Hey, Zast, how you doing? Hard Zayden. <laughs> well, that'd be a pretty nice feature if you could toss your guys on a tank and ride them into battle. That might be too cool. Let's see, one more guy right there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hard Zayden, you're breaking my heart, Airy. Uh, I know I do fear the Nine Tails. Supposedly, Vagar's uh, a counter pick to her, and my experience is the exact opposite. Vagar's probably my most favorite champion, or very close to it. And, uh, man, every time I faced her, I was like, you know, I'm going to just start banning her if I feel like playing him. Hey, Dragon, how you doing? Good thing I took that extra step. Yeah, I, I generally play AP mid. Yeah, yeah, Vagar, if you, if you let him farm his Q, you're going to be hurting. And that, that's why I like playing him so much. Let's see. Oh, yeah, see, there's a misclick right there. Oh, well. I think we're about done with this mission anyway. Yeah. Yep, we're done. All right, Elmo. Gonna heal. We have one person promoted. Oh, what to build? Mm, I'm not gonna worry about throwing. I'll pretty much shoot and kill everything I need to kill. Right, yeah. Alright, so this says not enough kit available. Kit means anything. So I have something that I don't have enough of to re-equip everybody. Yeah, I've never played as Fizz, but I've seen him uh, cause some trouble. Alright, so thanks to the advanced medkit use, he's going to be in the hospital for just a day. Which, that's pretty good. So he took a pretty good headshot. Uh, let see, what was it that I ran out of? Okay, I ran out of the personal shields, which I'm not really that concerned about, because they don't do much. But I am going to go back to producing some heavy lasers and selling those. And uh, I don't know what the best item is to build and sell for the best profit, but these sell for a pretty good amount, so I'm just going to stick with that. Let's see, I see some people posting. Kerbal Space Program. Nope. I'm sorry, I haven't heard of that one. Oh, oh, hey. Uh, let's cancel that. You know what, I think those uh, scientists are taking up money anyway. There we go. So, you know what? Let's continue research.
Now, I, I watched... Um, here's another crazy game. Have you guys ever heard of uh, I Want to Be the Bashi? Holy cow, I was watching a guy named Skara play that. And I watch him stream quite a bit. And I tried it out myself, and that game is crazy. Alright, flamethrower's done. Go ahead and read that for a minute. Yeah, definitely good for close combat. Oh, I want to be the guy. I've heard of that one too, but I haven't played it. Uh, no, I've never heard of that guy, I don't think. Kurt, Mac, J. Huh. That sounds pretty interesting. I might have to look into that. Okay, pretty good damage. I don't know why they don't show the range, though. Because I know it's a, it's a very short range weapon. I mean, yeah, it does a lot of damage. Look at my laser rifle here, 65. You know, compared to 130 and 130. Like, here's the rifle you start with, 50. Alright, let's just go and start on Phosphorus Grenade. Now, like, in order to start getting these plasma weapons, uh, we need to research plasma technology. And in order to do that, you need to capture an alien and interrogate it. And I don't think I even did that in my first run. I mean, I have an alien containment, but I don't know. Yeah, we're definitely hurting on money. And I don't think I have anything else to sell, so let's go ahead and get rid of the lab. Good thing is, in this game, you can actually get money back from selling buildings. That's pretty neat. So... I guess that'll, uh, that'll hold me over. Alright, phosphorus grenade. Nice. <laughs> well, I guess I'm done researching for the time being. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of another lab, too. Just to kind of save some money, and I'm not going to need it much for now. Wait. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Nice. And I didn't save it, which means I got to... Uh, I gotta start in the last mission again. <laughs> Alright, come on, game. Come on, mouse. There we go. Jeez. I don't understand the problem I have getting the mouse over here in windowed mode. Alright. Oh, I guess I did save after that.
Okay, what didn't I do? Okay, so I didn't lose too much. Phew. Oh, nice, guys. You picked up XCOM Interceptor? Man, that game's got to be so underrated. Yeah, it's not the best strategy game or whatever, but I think it's really fun for what it is. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's just dump these now. Really, game? <laughs> Okay. I uh I don't I don't think the game wants me to uh, get rid of that research building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, nope, I like that research building. Yeah, Apocalypse uh Yeah, it definitely had like a mixed uh, I guess reviews or whatever you can call it. See, can I get rid of that one? No, I can't. Huh. I wonder if it's because I'm currently researching something. Let me test that out. I think that's three crashes. Maybe two, but... Wow, I didn't even have anyone trying to research. So that's really weird. I thought maybe because I had people in here, it was crashing because... Like, if the people were being used up. So... Well, I guess... Uh, I guess I'll take out one. What if I take out one of these? And now this one? Okay. Alright, <laughs> sorry. So sorry, guys. I guess I'm just taking out one lab. <laughs> Four, yeah. Ah, oh, and the mouse got caught. Okay, let me get this back up. Nope, wrong one. Actually, I don't even need that up. There we go. Alright. So, one of them it is. What is the worst XCOM game ever? <laughs> you don't delete the lab. Um, God, I, I don't want to say it, but I have to agree. It's it's Enforcer. Uh, it's just, it's it's pretty much a, a shoot 'em up game with a, the XCOM uh, name slapped on it. It it's kind of fun, but yeah, I mean it's not really XCOM. I, I mean, you don't really research anything. You just unlock a bunch of stuff, kill things. Um, I mean, it... I don't know. Now, I never did play Email XCOM, but... I don't know. That flopped pretty easily as well, so that could have been even worse. I don't know. Actually, um, when they made Enforcer, they used... Uh, the data they had from XCOM Alliance to make that game. Because actually they were going to make XCOM Alliance first and then uh, Micro Pro Pros got uh, it, it either went right, bankrupt or got sold or something and then got picked up by uh, I want to say Hasbro but I don't know if it was then. And then they used some of the data uh, that from Alliance to make Enforcer. 
which, I mean, I can still remember vividly. I was still in high school. I think I was a senior. And I saw a post about uh, the XCOM Alliance trailer. And I downloaded that sucker. And I watched that trailer over and over and over. I, I was so excited. And, uh, yeah, it, it hurt me when they canceled Alliance. Oh, good job. Yeah, uh, yeah, 2K Games and Fraxis, they have it now. Uh, let's see, you're talking, Space Marine, you're talking about Alliance? Uh, it was going to be a first-person shooter uh, that takes place, like, at the same time as Interceptor, I, or uh, maybe a few years before that, but like 2061 or something like that. And you're basically a bunch of scientists and engineers stranded in another part of the galaxy or whatever and uh, you meet up with some friendly aliens and you're trying to find your way back to Earth and you meet up with the sectoids again and uh, stuff like that but it's going to be like a squad based uh, first person shooter based on the XCOM universe and uh, it, it looked so good at the time but yeah, friendly aliens. I, I can't remember their name, but they're like really big things. And uh, they were nice to you. And like they were, I think, in a war with the sectoids as well. So it was like, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend and stuff like stuff like that. Suffer not the Xeno to live. <laughs> but uh, like you could even have... Oh, like a camera or a drone that floated around and you know you could basically you had like a bunch of monitors up here like three monitors because I think it was a squad of four and you could like see out of their cameras and stuff and uh, it looked really neat I mean the, the research element was there but it was just all first person so it was like up to your skill to kill everything and you only had a limited amount of people. If you lost people, that was it. Because you guys were stranded on a ship. Uh, let's see, got some messages going. Yeah, we'll have to see about that... that XCOM game coming out. Yeah, actually, I read, uh, it's probably been a month or two now, uh, somehow uh, one of the people that was a part of Alliance gave what data they had to somebody, and uh, it's actually available out there for download. It's like a very, very, very rough copy, like with only a level or two in it. I didn't get it myself. Uh, but I read you can download it and play the game, like what they have done of it. But, I mean, like, if you guys saw my Enforcer Let's Play, the graphics were pretty much identical to that in Alliance. However, back in 1999, that was some pretty good graphics in playing back then. Yeah, uh, yeah, we were talking about Xenonauts a little while ago. It looks like a really good game. Uh, 
Oh, what kind of free XCOM games are you talking about? I'm not sure if I've heard of them all. Yeah, I'll agree. A lot of the older games play a lot better than these newer ones. Haha. -ha. There we go. Let's go ahead and curve back this way a little bit. Oh, uh, another thing. I don't... I, I haven't noticed it, but I don't think there's, like, front armor and rear armor and stuff. I think it's just all around the same armor. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's all around the same. There we go. Laser troll them. Whoa, we're gonna... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Oh, did you guys see that quote? All your base are belong to us. I thought that was kind of a neat... Neat little thing to add to this game. They put like little quotes in there at the start of your turn. But uh, it, it flashes by pretty quick. I don't think you can slow it down. Okay, that might have been a mistake. Uh, let's see. Yeah, SpaceX sounds like it's doing pretty well, but it's so disappointing in how NASA kind of got ripped off and, you know, lost so much funding and stuff, especially for the space shuttles and all that. Oh, nice. Way out here, huh? Good thing I saved some time units. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're pretty good there. Yep. Oof. Oh, this might hurt. Two snapshots, huh? Well, this is easy. So I suppose, uh, suppose I deserve that. Nice. Here, I'll let you kill him. Go ahead. Or not. There you go. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. 
I'm debating on swapping the grenade with the med kit for all my soldiers, because I rarely use grenades. And I tend to use the med kit a lot more. But I don't know, I still haven't uh, forced myself to do that. Because it's like, you know, what if I needed that grenade? Or, you know, what if... There we go. Anyone else? You. Oh, man, Defosh. Yeah, if you need to go to bed, man, go for it. <laughs> That's the spirit. Okay. One promotion. That's not bad. Go ahead and max that stuff out. Ah, let's get some more vitality. Stay just a bit. Alright. Let, let me go ahead and save this real quick. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we need this month to end so we can get some money. There we go. Alright, everybody thought I did a better job this time around. Step three, profit. Okay. Well... I, you know, I'm not going to try to get rid of that laboratory. I will, however, build some heavy lasers and try to profit from that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I was playing UFO Alien Invasion a little bit too. Ugh. That game's cool, but I think it's even more painful than this game. And I really hope, you know, no one gets upset by that, but... Oh. I don't know. There's just... I don't know. <laughs> There's just too much to it that kind of bothered me. Take him down. Yikes. Oh yeah, we'll take him down over the water. Okay. So you... Aggressive attack. I don't know, this, this might not be a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and reload that one. I was debating on doing it anyway. Okay, yep. Oh, you know what? Go to base. If you guys ever... Oh. <laughs> okay. Much better. If you guys uh, ever see me pause for a moment or something, chances are I'm probably reading what you guys posted. Oh. 
Oh, it's already here. Okay. So let's see where that guy's going. Let's see if I can get over there in time. Yeah, I've heard of Minecraft. I... Oh. Terrorize uh, mission. I think that's my first one. Yeah, I've heard of Minecraft. I haven't played it, though. Looks kind of neat. All right, let's launch it. Yeah, I know. I, I see Let's Plays of it all the time on YouTube. Or I did. Maybe not so much anymore. But it was just like it, it blew up out of nowhere. No, I, I don't think I heard it was on the 360. Stealth and patience will prove the keys to victory. Or just running out and gunning everything down with a laser rifle. Alright, well here's your uh, Snake Man clone. And these guys do take some some damage, so oh. and it makes a liar out of me right away. Wow, ten to twelve episodes a day, jeez. Yeah, Vipon, these guys, and as you can see, you get. Eight experience for them instead of five. So it's pretty nice killing them. Okay. Yeah, the catch is the Vipons do have uh, a bit more health and armor, so you gotta be careful. Yeah. Gotta love it. Usually they take two or three hits. But... Now uh, you never know. <laughs> awesome sauce. Front Mission 3? No, I haven't... I haven't played it. It almost sounds familiar, but... I can't recall anything about it. Nah, I don't play Sniper Elite either. I think I've heard of that game though. But I I don't know anything about it. Wow, nice. I haven't heard of Shores of Azron. Nope. 
Ow, misclick. Alright, fine, you're going this way. Uh, sorry to hear about your laptop there. You want me just to say ESF, or do you have a, a different nickname you'd rather me use? S of 35. Alright, cool. No problem. I might have to look into that game as well. Yeah, free does equal very good. Oh, they're coming out with a Mech Warrior Online game? That sounds cool. You know, I haven't played anything Mech Warrior. I'm pretty sure since Man, I want to say maybe Mech Warrior 3, but I, I I don't know if that was the one. It it was um It was on the PC and you could play it online. But I mean that was like back in 2000 and 2001 I believe so it's been a while since I played a Mech Warrior game then the last one I played before that was the one for the Super Nintendo where you could like build your robots and you go into the arena and stuff that one I liked quite a bit my dad and I played that one a lot Oh, good point, Defosh. People aren't going to be able to see the chat. Alright, going to kind of fan out a little bit here. What the heck? Do they have explosives in their walls? Oh my gosh. Let's see, what am I going to do another live stream? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe soon, maybe even tomorrow night. I'm not sure. Hello. Most likely it'll be about this time of night. Well, for me, this time of night. But, uh... You know, I'll, I'll always post before I, I do a live stream so people will have time to hopefully prepare and all that. That way it's not like, oh, I missed him, crud. I wish I would have known. You know, I'd like for people to know so that they have the chance. Oh... One of your speakers died. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to move him. For some reason, I thought it was my next turn already. Oh, man. Free play to shoot Mech Warrior game, huh?
Let's see what's over here. Well, nothing yet. All right, let's breach it. Okay. I think I may be half to end the stream here in just a little bit, probably about 10 minutes. Because uh, the wife should be getting back from the movie pretty soon. And uh, uh, she went with a friend and we might be hanging out a little bit after that. I know guys, I know. I don't want to end it, but I don't want to be rude to my guest either. I don't know exactly when I'll upload, because I, I kind of need to figure out that whole process. But, if anything, it should be up tomorrow the latest. Uh, just because i got to make sure I get the quality right and everything. Because I was reading online that uh, this the free version of XSplit has uh, poor quality audio. And it might sound pretty bad. Uh uploading it to YouTube and stuff, but I mean, I guess either way, that's going to happen, but uh, as soon as I can get it figured out, I'll get it uploaded, and then you'll see it uh, posted. But, uh, it probably won't be tonight, but uh, you, you never know. I might, I might get some time to do it. Well, Space Marine, I'm glad uh, you're enjoying this so much. And ain't no problem, Heart, Heart Zayden. It's I've been wanting. I I was actually testing live streaming back in February, and I had even waited before then to test it. It just it seems really cool. And uh, you know, I, all my life. I've wanted to do something with games, and, you know, unfortunately, um, I just haven't been able to get uh, too much into the gaming industry, but, you know, this is one way I can kind of follow my dreams, I suppose. I play games and entertain people, and everyone has fun. Hopefully. Hopefully. Gotta troll the aliens. Uh oh. Yeah, you know it's so funny, uh, Grimace, that you mentioned that my kids have seen me do Let's Plays so much now and know so much about doing Let's Plays that my six-year-old son and my four-year-old daughter, like, they'll sit at my computer and they'll be like, they'll be pre pretending to do a Let's Play. You know, they'll like sit on my desk or my uh, my chair. And they'll be like, "All right, guys, you guys need to be quiet. I'm I'm recording my videos now." And I'm like, "Okay, I'll be quiet for you." Jeff Major. No, I haven't heard of that person. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Defosh. I just can't believe I've been doing this for over two years. It's 
think we found the bathrooms. No one's in here. All right. feeling nothing's in there but we'll check it out anyway the game's anything like tear from the deep you got to check every square oh very good oh <laughs> thanks space marine i appreciate it Wow, look at the reaction firing. Go team. Hey, uh, I do want to say, though, uh, check out uh, Jeremy's uh, Afterlight Let's Play. Uh, I started watching his Let's Play right before I started recording mine, and uh, his was pretty good, too. Uh, he helped me realize the uh, value of shotguns in that game. Although I know it's been recommended to me in every game so far. But uh, watching his style helped me adapt mine and improve on mine. So check out his stuff. It's pretty good too. Uh, let's see. The map. Um, I, I think it's... I think it's 3D, but it's kind of like a a generic 3D, I think. Because, I mean, you are kind of getting behind stuff. But uh, I, I don't know how to better answer that one for you. Sorry, Defosh. Oh yeah, Jack, those terror missions, they they were a terror. Yeah, fighting in the harbor and stuff. That and uh, the ship terror missions, where you're on a cruise ship, you know, that was not fun. And I just thought of that YouTube video, I'm on a boat. <laughs> oh man, uh-oh, that was not good. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah. Okay. So that person's alive for a little bit. Probably not too much longer, though. Well, we could try to follow the trail of bodies. Uh, let's see who's uh, that's gonna be cutting it close gonna have to be next turn hopefully they'll survive I don't see a door. Yeah, I'll just walk this way. I was going to bust a hole in the wall, but never mind. Soldier of Fortune 2, that sounds 
familiar. I haven't played it. Uh-oh. Just don't panic. Okay. First things first. Got to heal. And then uh, one thing in this game is if they're unconscious, you can only heal critical wounds. So once they're down, they're down. Come on, 42%. Okay, I'll take it. Um Oh man. There's still a psionic creature over there. Go ahead and kneel down. And look around. No. All right, so that alien must have came through here. Something came back out this way. All right, here's one of those little uh, teleporter things from the first one where you just go up and down. Okay, let's hope no one else dies or gets hurt. Uh-oh, paralyzed. All right, fifteen's not bad. All right, first things first. All right, that person's paralyzed. No critical wounds, so that's good. However, Carson can see or shoot at both aliens. So we should be, oh, look at that, 98%. So we should be able to take them both out. All right, 66, still not bad. One more. Very nice. All right, let's uh, maybe scoot back a little bit. All right, now this person is going to take a look over here. And it must have been those two aliens that were messing with my guys over there. So that's not bad. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do with this guy? Just shoot a hole in the wall, why not? I haven't heard of EU3. That's a that's a weird looking table right there. Okay. Oh, that's close. 
Okay, that hurt. Ouch, three critical. Ooh, two turns. Um, 36 time units. Let's get as close as we can. And we're going to focus on healing here. Good enough. Now, scoot up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Ten experience? Oh, man, I bet that was like a commander or something. I think Vipon's normally eight. Oh, well. Right now, I'm just focused on finishing the mission. Uh, the Blackworth? No, I'm not familiar with that guy. home there. We might be about done. Nailed it. Alright, wow, a lot of people got kills. That's good. Getting closer to promotions. We did get one promotion. A couple people got hurt quite a bit. 120,000. Thank you. And we got UFO stuff, too. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this guy built up. There we go. And let me save it before the game decides to crash on me. Alright, guys, I think I'm going to call it quits for now. But, man, I really enjoyed this stream and uh, interacting with you guys. This was a lot of fun, and... I was kind of nervous about it ahead of time, but it seemed to go pretty smoothly. And uh, I, I'm not very nervous now at all. <laughs> uh, hey, no problem, Defosh. I'm, I'm really glad you guys enjoy uh, uh, the way I do the Let's Plays and... You know, I'm, I'm glad you guys have fun with these. But, yeah, I had a lot of fun with you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you guys don't bite. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys have a good night. Uh, have a good morning. Good day. Uh, you know, just have a good rest of the day. And, uh... I'll, I'll I'll always post you know a few hours or several hours before I'm gonna stream so you guys know to look out for me. If I can, I'll I'll give you guys you know, a couple days notice. Uh, I just I don't know what plans my family usually has, but like today I was like you know I really want to get this started and knew my wife was going out and I was like well kids are going to bed at eight anyway so 